smile. These are all paid actors. <laughs> Welcome to another vlog. I'm having a nice little self-care afternoon. I woke up this morning, I worked out, I came home and I just got so much stuff done. Tonight starts the Dallas Book Club. I'm very excited, I'm finally hosting an in-person Dallas Book Club. All the information's on like social media and stuff. Um, but it's at Wild Detectives, which is like one of my favorite places in Dallas. It, I can't believe, I cannot believe, okay, I made a TikTok of like things I consider perfect about Dallas. I cannot believe I forgot to put that one there. We're gonna talk about that later, but I'm hosting that tonight, so I'm giving myself a little self-care afternoon. I just ordered Starbucks, because I'm exhausted, and then I also ordered like this healthy like Chinese food. I, we'll see how I like it. I've got like an hour to just chill and relax before I need to start getting ready, and Macy's gonna come over. I'm gonna film a closet tour, um, and then we're gonna go to book club. I'm very excited, so this is a nice little self-care afternoon. I just took a bath, I used all my new products, I feel incredible, and sometimes self-care is um, an afternoon shower and watching like a podcast, and I'm gonna like sell outfits and stuff for the Oakland, okay, but I need to chill. You know what I mean? This is the Versace robe that I got for my birthday for myself. Incredible buy, let me tell you. Okay, so I got some dumplings, but these are like, I think they're like impossible dumplings, and then I did get actual chicken, I know you can get like cow flour and stuff, like sweet and sour, but it's somehow like healthier for you. I don't know, to be honest with you, it wasn't intentional. I just wanted Chinese food and this is what popped up as the fastest delivery time. Doing a little taste test. These look a little interesting. Okay, this also looks a little interesting. The consistency at least. I know that they're like healthier, I can tell, but they're still good. Like I have no issue eating them, but I'm also not a picky eater, but again, like, how do you not like dumplings, you know what I mean? Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of a get ready with me. I have a lot of new products, so let's get started. I've used this once before and I've really liked it. The issue is I'm so far from like the good lighting. This bronzer is just like really warm. Anyways, I really like this bronzer. I have been thinking about getting air sculpting done on my chin jawline area for a very long time. It's not something that I think would even bother me if I wasn't on camera all the time, but it bothers me when I see myself on camera, and it's bothered me for long enough. I got a consultation like over a year ago, I think from them, and then I just saw Lauren Bostick go and get it. And then I was like, wait, I should actually like go and do that. And I just think I would be very happy if I did it. I also think it's important to like be open about it, like get whatever you want done. But I don't know, I don't like the impact that it's like leaving on a lot of people. And like, I get the argument of like, it's your body, you can do whatever you want, it's someone else's business. I understand that, like I really do. But also it bothers me like when people use like filters and then they save them, they repost it so like you can't see that there's a filter. Like I know people who even like take, like I see people, girls even take like Instagram and feed photos that's like you obviously took that with a filter, saved it, and then posted it. What I'm trying to say here is if you use a filter or use something, I'm totally like I don't care about that. I think it should just say that you use the filter. Like to save it and then post it so it looks like you're not using a filter just like feels weird to me. Like I don't, I don't know. But also I'm open for discussion because it is your body and you can do whatever you want your account you can do whatever you want like i don't think like i think we put too much stock in like other people for our own feelings if that makes sense but i do think it contributes to like a very unhealthy culture but then also at the same time it's like your body and like you can do whatever you want it's your account you can do whatever you want but i just personally feel weird when i see people like clearly like they're using filters that are like subtle but they're like a filter like i know they're a filter and they save them and then they repost it or they'll share it on like TikTok or Instagram. But because they saved it, it's not showing that it was a filter. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't love that. But at the same time, like, I get the other argument. So, like, I don't really know where I stand. For myself personally, I always want to be open about it. Basically, it's just like being dishonest about it. But then I think of people like Khloe Kardashian or people, or people who have been like annihilated in the media for their bodies and attacked nonstop. And I totally get why they would do it. You know what I mean? I'm more so talking about like just like uh, an influencer or like the, uh, whatever. But like I get the other argument and it's like they've been like bullied into that. And like they've been made 
to feel horrible about their bodies because of the media. You know what I mean? So, like, I really don't know where I stand on it. I don't like the whole, like, saving filters. Just act like you don't have a filter. Like, I think that's just, like, not cool. Basically, what I'm saying is that, like, if I get anything done, I will always be honest about it. Literally, do whatever you want. Great, amazing, love that. But I just, I'm like, I don't know. I think it's, maybe it's because, like, I have a, obviously, female demographic. I'm like, I just don't want to leave that, like, impression. But at the same time, it's like... Like, you're entitled to whatever you want, and, like, you can't, no one else can, like, tell you what to do. I just think, like, morally, it doesn't sit right with me. Like, I don't like it. And I mean, like, I don't mean, like, doing whatever you want to your body or using filters or whatever. I mean, like, being dishonest about it. Then again, it's like, we're all in charge of, like, how we feel, and we can't let other people control how we feel. So I also get that. I just think, for me, it's not my vibe. Got a package from Morphe. I made an order the other night because this setting spray... I've never had the big one. I almost, I needed the travel one too for Europe, but this is the best setting spray you will literally ever, 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 ever use. So I needed to order that. And then I was like, you know what? I need new eyeshadow brushes. So today's going to be another example of me trying a new eyeshadow look and it looking the exact same as every other one. Trying my new NARS palette that I got recently. I haven't used it yet. I just thought it was really pretty. I haven't had a new eyeshadow palette in so long. I don't have eye primer. Like, do I need that? I feel like, remember back in the day where that was like the biggest thing ever? Oh my god, guys. Like, no! Gel eye primer. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. Thanks, smell. I don't even know, like, what kind of look I want to do. I don't even know what I'm wearing tonight. I do have, like, a certain look, but it's, like, still kind of hot out right now. Or it's back to being hot. Let's start with, like, a nice little crease color. Wow, these brushes feel nice. Like, am I gonna be a makeup artist? Okay, I'm gonna keep this matte i think i'm gonna do the like more reddish color on my lid this is like really messy okay and then i'm gonna try to just go in with this side and give myself some like eyeshadow and then i'll clean it up i mean by eyeshadow i obviously i'm an eyeliner so this eye with the eyeliner looks a lot better than this eye how do i like smudge that out oh here's another one okay i don't know how to fix that but this eye is more like messed up also now i'm on to my next product which is a kosas like eyebrow product i normally just put clear gel on but i'm gonna try something new next i just have another i have a refill of the clear brow gel i love this stuff next i'm gonna use the tower 28 lip liner now again i will be trying the glen stefani lipstick that i got that i like really i tried in the car yesterday and i was like really unimpressed but we'll see. It just felt very dry. Okay, this is like darker than I had planned on going. Cause she just got a whirl with the punches here. This dibs lip gloss is so good. For me doing my makeup, I feel like it looks pretty good. Next is mascara. I actually got mascara on my eye, but I feel like this doesn't look too bad. Again, for me doing it myself. The final trick is to set with this Morphe spray. It makes your makeup look so much better and the mist is so satisfying. All right, I just wanna give you guys some better lighting. Like, I'm trying to give you like makeup views. I feel like I did a good job. All right guys, that was clearly meant to be because the Air School people just messaged me or actually, no, I can't talk today. It was clearly meant to be. The Air School people just called me and we scheduled my appointment for the 21st. So I'm putting my deposit down tomorrow. It does scare me because I've never, it's, I mean, I guess it is plastic surgery, but, but I've never done anything like that. Like I've gotten Botox and gotten my lips done, but it like kind of scares me. And I don't know, like I'm excited and it's something I've wanted done for so long. And like, I have the time, like I have 48 hours to just like wear the thing and stay home. Wednesday, Thursday, I guess Friday. I guess I wouldn't be out on Friday. I also like want to have time where I'm just like laying around watching movies and stuff and that will be the perfect time so i'm obviously gonna vlog the experience but i guess i'm getting plastic surgery it's really crazy also this doesn't mean that any of you guys need to get it this doesn't mean that like i don't love myself or anything like that it's just something that i like that bothers me and i'm on camera all the time again if i wasn't on camera all the time wouldn't bother me literally at all but like it is my literal livelihood so I figured, why not? I'm gonna call my mom because hopefully she can go with me. I don't know. But anyways, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited for me as well. Here's my outfit. Mason's about to be here and I'm ready to go. And I guess I'm getting plastic surgery. Sorry, guys, what did you just ask me? I walk in and I said, did you get your makeup done? <laughs> it's 
so crazy that you asked me. Yes, by this really cool girl named Kenzie. I was just what trying out my new products. You know what it is? I'm convinced though that makes it look like I got my makeup done is this setting spray. Oh, okay. Leslie gave this to me for amazing. Christmas. It's amazing. It is the best ones. I, this is like my 15th. And it's really good. Yeah, this is, okay, is this new? No. no, that's old news. Okay, I love this stuff. Love this. Okay, like this is so unorganized because I don't have the right... Makeup. You need makeup? Yeah. Um, I use the NARS foundation though, and that's what my makeup artist uses. Finding Macy a new sweater because apparently she doesn't like it even though. Have the pink one's cute, actually. I don't like anything that I wore to work. Yeah, she's, oh, she's yeah. like, yeah, that one's cute. And it's like the perfect, like, oh, it's a good fit, you okay, know? Okay. The pink thing is my outfit for New Year's Eve, so don't mind that. Yeah. She was just gonna strip. Okay. So that my views could go up. Thanks. What you do for me is unbelievable. <laughs> I'll never be able to thank you enough. Do you have a curling iron? Okay. Um, there's one on my back. Your hair looks good though. Really? Yeah, I wouldn't do okay. it actually. Um, you know when your hair is like perfectly curled, then you just add yeah, to it and, and start cooking it up. Yeah. Okay, so this is my new outfit because I changed because I didn't like my original outfit. Aritzia blazer. This is the oversized blazer. Everyone keeps asking, and I, I just. I thought it was called the oversized blazer. Is it not? I thought it was. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I but one it, thing from there. <laughs> it is literally the best blazer ever. I wear it all the time. Skims top, I think. Abercrombie jeans. Chocolate brown Uggs. And then I'm going to wear my puff bag. Obviously. So. Um, I'm wearing this blue free people sweater that's Kenzie's. And my Zara boot cut wide leg boot cut jeans. And your shoes? And my shoes are Dr. Scholl's. Yeah, your grandma probably owns a pair from there too. They're so. actually really cute. No, they're really if you're cute. You're a hater towards your own no, shoes. No, they're they're okay. I'm only a hater because it's just kind of embarrassing. No, I actually really like them, and they're laced. Okay, these are dirty, but they're cute. They're like they're like the perfect white like yeah. shoe. Okay. Um, the sweater that Macy's wearing is that free people sweater I told you guys about in, like a vlog or two ago. That's the best sweater ever. That's just like better sizing. That's the one that I should have gotten for the white one it's the best sweater ever yes. oh, my therapist just texted me okay we got here like 10 minutes early do you think that we should like go in early so we like ask because like what if i you know i get like anxiety about like just like social oh, okay <laughs> no like I, I like no i have to like wait in the car no, me too that's why i'm yeah. glad we got here early i got to practice like hi hey we're here for a book club okay now do it like a little bit more chill okay hey we're here for book club Who's? Oh, Kenzie Elizabeth. She's doing a book club. Oh, okay. Or okay, let's. You pretend like they have no idea who you are. Because we're saying like what? No, like hi, I'm hosting a book club here tonight. That's what oh, we say. Okay. Them. I'll pretend to be the worker. You go. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, now I'm getting like way more nervous. <laughs> oh my god, I'm okay. gonna such. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hey, who are you? How are you? Uh, welcome. What are you here for? Um, I'm hosting a book club today. Okay. You what? dumb, stupid influencer. <laughs> You dumb bitch getting yeah, lied. Literally. <laughs> literally. Okay. I think well, Macy made me feel really good about that one. So I'm thinking that's going to go great. I just got the book no, club I questions. I was telling her because she was like, oh, I don't think that many people are coming. I'm like, that's so special because, like, think about how many people probably want to, like, come to an event and meet people or, like, yeah. talk with well, others. Well, this like, it's wasn't, this then. was really just for, like, if you wanted, if people who wanted to come could come. Like, and it you, wasn't, And like, you're such a reader and, like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like a fun little thing. And then over time, if we keep doing it, I'm sure it will grow. I don't know. Should I do monthly or bi monthly? Once a month. Okay. Wait, you, is bi-monthly every other month or twice a month? Every other. Oh, at that. Okay. I thought you were saying twice a month. I'm like, babe. No. Okay. I know. <laughs> like, babe, we're doing the too much here. The only thing is that my February is really booked, but we'll see. Um, yeah, maybe like first week of February. Birthday. When is your birthday? February 16th. I was thinking about doing it February 16th. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I came outside and Macy had put everyone in a circle around her. And Kenzie didn't know people were going to come, so I got it in my head. I was like, yeah, people aren't coming. People came. This is a squad. Oh, are they here? Yeah, there's more people. Um, I don't know. Okay. Well, but Macy said she didn't think anyone was going to come. This is my so club, so. Her first uh, tequila, espresso martini. No, it's good. It's good. This is a squad. I'm very impressed. Okay, so many people are coming. I am. So we ran out of seats. It's like really so many people came. We haven't even started yet. Everyone's at the bar, but there's like literally it's our first meeting. We like already don't have space, and it's a very large outdoor space. So Macy has somehow appointed herself as like host of the book club. 
She doesn't even write the book. Hostess. And she, hostess of the book club. She's really upset that I made her move it back to tables. We didn't have enough room. There was literally no other option. And she's been fighting me on everything. I'm the social coordinator. I did make I'm everyone go say hi. I'm the vibe provider, the social coordinator, the book reader. You didn't read the book. <laughs> Do you guys hate when there's like a forced like intro and you have to say like you're like in front of the whole group? No, because you're outgoing. Like other people. Yes. Yeah, see. I'm the vibe curator. That is not even what I'm saying to you. <laughs> yes, I hate it, and I'm like really outgoing. I like to testify. Yeah, and I'm like, uh, what is my name? I don't remember it. Yeah, so literally the worst thing. I'm saying. Oh, this is so cute. Smile. These are all paid actors. <laughs> So cute. Okay, yay! That's so cute. Thanks for coming, guys. This is so fun. Hey guys, guys, we just got back from right Macy's now. meet and greet. <laughs> guys, it was so good. Guys, I like came back from <laughs> being inside, and I walk out, and she has assembled everyone into a circle, okay. basically around her. Okay, I feel like <laughs> I have a very natural like teacher personality. Like, no, if yeah. there's a group, I'm gonna want to talk to them and put them in like. No, you were great. You were I really, you were talking to everyone. You did a great job. That was so fun, but I wanted to put everyone in a big circle because I also didn't know how many people were going to come because Kenzie was like, oh, I don't know if anyone's going to come. So in my mind, I'm literally like, oh, it's not going to be that how big. How many do you think we're there? Two, three, four, five, six, like 50? I would say 50. It was really fun. Yeah, it was like really, really and fun. And we were chatting. We were giggling. Um, but yeah, we ended up not seeing a big group and we sat at like all the tables outside. Well, also to be fair, there's people in the back when we got there, so I didn't want to like take their tables, but they slowly drifted off when they saw us talking a lot. But it was so fun. It was like really, really fun. Not and it was lie. it wasn't like a structured event with like it was just yeah. like come hang out. It's like chill. It's not like too much, and it's really easy to like make friends and whatever. I feel like it no, was, like, I made really so many like. Yeah, no, Macy literally I thought know. it was her meet and greet. Like, no, I, I made a TikTok. I was like, my first ever meet and greet. <laughs> my friend literally texted me. She's like, is this real? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, someone just commented on my meet and greet. You remind me so Wait, much of JC Jenner. Oh my God, what a compliment. <laughs> she watches these vlogs. Hi, JC. Hey guys, I have my first meet and greet tonight. <laughs> you were a little litter. So life is surreal. <laughs> That's crazy. Earlier today, I was watching JC's video, and she was watching my video. Is she doing vlogmas? Isn't that crazy? No, but oh. I was watching oh, her video, I'm kidding. and she was watching my video. I and then actually, I was texting her at the same time. I haven't watched her latest one. You gotta keep up. Well, we'll know she's watching this one because yeah, I know. Comment if there's no comment, guys. JC's over the videos. She's never watching again. She doesn't care. It's gonna be rough. So, anyways, we're heading home. Bye. See, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, to our Chick Fil A that I yeah. ordered three hours ago. Is the soup gonna be bad? We'll see. No, it'll be fine. Okay, we'll we're gonna let you guys. Kenzie know. was super nice and ordered me Chick Fil A to eat on my way back from work. Literally an hour early too, and it still came too late. And it had an hour and a half to arrive. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay, sorry, I'm just queuing up my okay, vlogmas bye. for the night. Okay, guys. So I ordered Macy dinner because she was coming from work today, and she wanted a diet lemonade from Chick Fil A. I've never had a diet lemonade before. Okay, but I always get lemonade. Yeah, there obviously. Well, it's, it's gonna be better when it's like iced and like. Well, yeah, it, it has sat here for like three hours. It's really good. Oh, it's really good. It's like a little bit less like tangy. Isn't it good? No, it's really good. I love Chick Fil A lemonade. Remember when you like literally thought I'm makeup artist in my makeup? Oh my <laughs> god, guys. Macy, as we know, tonight was Macy's meet and greet. I just want to say it was so fucking funny. Like walking out, and you are literally like, there's just a crowd of people around Macy, and I'm like, what? Like I literally went inside for like five minutes. I come out, even when I'm standing there, it's like Macy's just going from table to table, sitting down. Hey guys, like it's like it was so and the fact funny. That I said that I had social anxiety. Yeah, like, I'm just a liar. I know. Actually, yeah, I forgot about that part. She's just a liar, but it's actually nice though, cause I'm. I feel like when you're like a really out like when you're both like really outgoing people, yeah. it's really nice sometimes when like you have another friend that's outgoing that will like carry their weight because then it makes me less outgoing because then I'm like I don't have to like yeah. carry. You don't have this to like stuff. overpower. Yeah, like, I don't have to like vlog, you know. Put my I go like this. I go. I go. Put the hair in the front. Um. No, my meet and greet was really good. <laughs> it was really good to meet some fellow readers. It was she really good butt. to you know kind of just you know. I did meet a lot of friends. I followed everyone back. We're gonna have like so a separate quick. club without mm -hmm. Kenzie. The anti Kenzie Elizabeth book club? Yeah. Good. No. Um, You're gonna start getting hate comments. <laughs> By the way, guys, 
Um, if y'all are in Dallas, it's open to anyone who wants to join. I think the best way to, I'll post it on my stories, but the best way to do it is probably to join my Geneva chat and join, go into the Dallas Book Club room and then everyone will be there and all the information will be there. And, oh, you know what? They have like a calendar feature. You can like put it on your calendar. Oh my yeah. God, genius. Well, anyways, I think this is a good vlog. When I was 17, I was making jokes about, like, sorry, but I did a TikTok at her event saying that it was my meet and greet but when i was 17 i would go to like in and out after football games and i would take videos i was like everyone's here for my meet and greet yeah. like, i need a new joke you were like manifesting no just wait just wait for my meet and greet because it's gonna be thanks just, to okay. live. yeah I'm gonna literally be, i'll have to be like camping out for days i'm like do you remember me <laughs> that's literally what's gonna happen like macy oh mm. your first friends in dallas Lacey, Macy, do you remember me and i'm like getting swooped away like to a driver and i'm like so <laughs> no, like people are getting the no. thing, right? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I didn't choose this. <laughs> literally okay my camera's gonna die but love you guys so much hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in tomorrow's vlog